Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Abby Smith. Federal Government Ministers have been directed to look for savings as Labor puts the final touches on the budget. Finance Minister Katie Gallagher says the Government will make sure the budget strikes the right balance. I don't want people to think that we're taking a razor gang or anything. This budget um, has a lot of pressure coming towards it. You'll see sensible new spending, but where we can make um, sensible savings, we will. The Prime Minister says new citizenship rules for New Zealanders won't result in more people coming to Australia. From July, around 350,000 Kiwis living here will be eligible to become citizens, meaning they can gain government payments when they need them. A review of the nation's military capabilities is expected to recommend a major overhaul. The Defence Strategic Review examines what Australia needs to protect itself over the next decade and beyond. It's also uncovered significant shortfalls in the military budget and may recommend cutting some programs to save money. A prominent surfer is recovering at home after he was bitten by a shark off Western Australia's coast. Max Marsden's friend quickly came to his aid after the attack. A 1.5 metre bronze whaler is being blamed. A state funeral may be offered for iconic entertainer Barry Humphreys, who passed away at the weekend, aged 89. New South Wales and Victoria are among the states who may make an offer to the Humphreys family. And the hunt is on for the top three public toilets in Australia, with the Continents Foundation launching the Great Dunny Hunt. Until June 19, people are being asked to take photos of public toilets and upload them to the National Public Toilet Map. There's three $500 prizes up for grabs for photos judged to be the nation's best public toilets. Sport and entertainment next. The Saints remain on top of the ladder after a 22-point win over the Blues at Marvel Stadium. Coach Ross Lyons says they're not getting ahead of themselves. A pleasing result, really, against top-quality opposition. So we'll enjoy it tonight, but we we go to Port Adelaide Friday night here. So, you know, um, hopefully our fans and members really come and fill it out like the Blues fans did. The loss sees Carlton slip to seventh on the ladder. In the other games yesterday, the Crows beat the Hawks by three, while the Suns had a 43-point win over the Roos. Monday night footy sees Melbourne take on Richmond, while the Anzac Day clash between Collingwood and Essendon is now a sellout at the MCG. The lad party-like atmosphere of the Live Golf Tournament in Adelaide created some unique challenges for players used to the sombre quiet of the fairways and greens. After starting the day with a 10-shot lead, American Taylor Gooch had a scare, dropping several shots before going on to win the event by three strokes. He said winning was not easy. Winning on any tour is hard. Uh, winning on this type of golf course in front of this type of a crowd is, is not easy. So, um, you know, when I made the, the birdie on 11, um, now it's time to dig deep and, and go get a go get a victory. Aussie Cam Smith came in fourth. In the NRL, the Dolphins just fell short of the Titans. The final score 28 to 26, while Manly were too good for the West Tigers, taking home the Premiership points by four. Tomorrow, Sydney hosts the Dragons, while the Storm go head to head with the Warriors. And in Super Netball, the Firebirds had a four goal win over the Giants, while the Thunderbirds beat the Fever 64 to 63. In entertainment, weekend two of Coachella has kicked off with some South Australian talent flying the flag. Sia joined Labyrinth for the song Thunderclouds on stage, while fans lost it when Blink-182 took to the stage for the first time in almost a decade. Protesters are reportedly planning to sabotage the King's coronation next month by throwing rape alarms at horses in the procession. Anti-monarch groups and climate activists want to make their presence known. And Nelly and Ashanti fans are hoping the pair will pull a J-Lo and Ben Affleck and announce they're back together. The two music stars who have a history of dating have been spotted together again, watching a boxing match in the US, the video showing them holding hands as they head off for the night. And that's the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.